Hello, I'm in a field. Lol. So, the theme this week is uh, characters. And obviously everybody's have been having their own take on the theme. Um, so I'm going to talk to you today about the interpretation of characters rather than the character itself. Because characters, all characters are interpreted differently by different people. For example, a uh, snake. A great deal of people never used to like Snape until the Prince's Tale and the whole Lily, Lily thing and that. Um, and then everyone realised that actually, you know, he's an alright guy. But some people still don't like Snape for things such as the way that he treated Neville and Harry and everybody um, which to be fair is quite understandable because he was quite horrible but I mean my personal view is that some of his actions are justified by the fact that for example Neville Neville was supposed to he could have been the chosen one according to the prophecy but Harry was instead and so that's apparently one of the reasons why Snape's so horrible to Neville. And of course Harry um, has the same eyes as Lily and things like that. It just reminds him of the person he loves. And, you know, as I said, it's, to an extent, it is justified. I find it interesting how different characters are interpreted differently. Because, of course, we're all provided, essentially, with the same information on a character. It's just whether you choose to interpret certain facts differently depends on how you, you like the character, how you interpret the character. For example, again with Snape, the people who like his character are people who, often people who uh, love the whole love story. But then of course, there's the different interpretation of people who focus on the things that Snape did before we found out about the love story, such as the way that he treated people, etc. And they argue that his actions aren't completely justified. And to be fair, they're not. But that doesn't mean he's a bad person, it just means he's flawed. But all characters should be flawed because otherwise that's their flaw, that they don't have any flaws, which is a bit of a contradiction. But let's go with it. It's like, as Becky was saying, you can't have a perfect character because that, that's not, that's not going to be able to help the story. The story is about a character discovering their imperfection, but dealing with it anyway. And I think that's one of the best things about stories, the fact that nobody is actually perfect. I think all characters, no matter how good they are, they should always have some sort of bad side, even if it's just something like their breath smells in the morning, I don't know, something like that, just so that they are more human, um, kind of discovered a problem. Um, yeah, all characters should have some sort of flaw, that's what I love about the Harry Potter series, the fact that no character is perfect. Even Harry himself, he he has flaws where he doesn't 
seem to register the fact that people are helping him. He seems to think that he's all by himself. And he also has some, some selfishness, I suppose, to, as a character. But it doesn't mean he's bad. As Sirius Black said, well, we've got some good and bad in both of us. It just depends on what we act on. That's not the direct quote, but it's a similar idea. Um, yeah. So I think characters aren't really intended ever to be what the writer makes them or the actor makes them. The character is always how you interpret it yourself, whether it's as a bad person or a good person, it doesn't matter. It's not up to the writer or the actor. I mean, they can have a huge influence on it, obviously, but it's all down to your own interpretation. What parts you choose to interpret, just like what characteristics you choose to act upon. And I think that that makes a character more human, having everybody interpret them differently. Because that's what humans are like. Everybody has their own interpretation of other people. It's boring if everybody has exactly the same interpretation of somebody, because then it doesn't make them feel real. It just makes them iconic, but not in a good way. Yeah. So I've rambled on long enough. I hope to make a sufficient length video. Um, and I need to go back home now and have my dinner and then edit this. So this will probably be uploaded in like a, a week, I don't know. It'll take me forever to upload it, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed my thoughts on characters. Bye!